In order to reduce the infrared radiation of naval ships to conceal them from enemy infrared guided missiles, the DRDO has developed the infrared signature suppression system that uses a doctor diffuser principle with film cooling rings. The infrared signature suppression system are fitted in the exhaust system of ship propulsion and power generation equipment that traps cool air from the surrounding and mixes it with exhaust plume to reduce the temperature of metal ducts and also exhaust air by 85%. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has taken over manufacturing of the infrared signature suppression system, and 56 units have been manufactured and inducted into the Indian Navy. The DRDO has also developed an advanced active infrared signature suppression system that combines the advantages of passive infrared signature suppression system with the cooling obtained from seawater mist injection into the exhaust flow. Gas turbine research establishment has started fresh tests of its indigenous manic small turbofan engine that will soon be tested with the nearby subsonic land attack cruise missile. The DRDO couldn't test the indigenous engine in the last trial, as the nearby cruise missile faced technical issues in the booster stage, and it didn't achieve enough altitude for the manic engine to be tested for 50 minutes flight to cover 1000 kilometers. It is to be noted, that the nearby missile has already cleared developmental trial for use with the Russian Saturn turbofan engine, but it never entered production so that several foreign components including engine could be replaced with indigenous content that will make it more economical. South Korean firm Hanwha Defense has made a fresh push for the 105mm variant of the K-21 light tank vehicle for the Indian Army's 350 light tank competition, under the Make in India initiative in collaboration with Larson and Tubro. Hanwha Defense officials also released a promotional video and said that the 105mm turret mounted on a K-21 infantry fighting vehicle chassis features a highly accurate fully stabilized computerized day and night thermal imaging fire control system, an advanced lightweight design and delivers strong firepower and high tactical and strategic mobility. A spokesman for the Chinese Defense Ministry has said that China has sent its ship to the Lombok Strait to help recover the missing Indonesian submarine. A Chinese military analyst has said that the operation will also offer the opportunity to study the topography of the seabed that would be beneficial to the Chinese Navy in submarine and anti-submarine operations. We had reported recently that Indonesian fishermen had found a Chinese underwater drone which indicated that China is surveying the Indonesian waters that will help Chinese Navy submarines to enter the Indian Ocean. The Indian Navy has announced that its naval fighter jets will undertake air-to-ground test at the Kavlo Sim range from 3rd May to 6th of May 2021. The Navy has advised the residents not to be alarmed by the sound of low-flying aircraft and are prohibited from proceeding to the beachfront at joining the test range. The governments of India and UK have announced that the two leaders are set to hold their virtual summit this week, which is expected to announce the launch of talks on free trade agreement to double the trade by 2030, and a memorandum of understanding on joint development of 110 kN class jet engine by Rolls-Royce and gas turbine research establishment, as well as a roadmap 2030 for future relations. The second phase of the National Supercomputing Mission will be completed by September 2021, that will take India's total computational capacity to 16 petaflops. The 4,500 crore rupees project will create a powerful supercomputing capability for the country, that will offer powerful computational facilities to boost research. Egypt's Defence Ministry has said, that it has signed a contract for an additional order for 30 Rafale fighters with France, and the $4.8 billion deal would be financed through a loan that will be repaid over the next 10 years. Egypt's defence purchases have grown by 136% over the last decade, and the Egyptian Air Force currently operates 30 Su-35, 44 MiG-29, 
24 Rafale fighters, 218 F-16 and 19 Mirage 2000 fighter jets.